Okay, now we are, we are well aware that this is not a children's party, but we are going to start with a quick children's party game um, that we have to do. Um, uh, so, the rules are, um, you've got to catch a bubble on the end of each new... Okay. I've covered it. Got it, got it, got it. now or never, we either kind of keep on doing it a little bit and slowly kind of peter out, or we kind of make a big decision, give up our jobs, um, and go for it full time. And that's quite, it's quite scary when you go to your parents, and you sit them down and you say, right, uh, I'm going to give up my normal job, I'm going to sort of fly in the face of all the education and university, etc. that you've given me, I'm going to be a clown for the rest of my life. Um, <laughs> it's not a great, it's not a good conversation to be having. Um, and then, that was just George and I you know, doing all the bookings, uh, taking on payments, doing all the parties ourselves, and uh, it was always scalability was going to be the issue, because it, it was essentially George and I's personalities that everyone wanted, bizarrely. Um, uh, and uh, so, yeah, so it was just George and I, and, then, and so trying to kind of get other people to deliver that product um, was always going to be the scary thing. Um, uh, and when we first did it, parents just said, oh, I want the original Sharky and George, but then you kind of pretend to parents that, that actually these other two boys are the original Sharky and George. They have just the good a party, um, if not better. Um, uh, and so I kind of built up like that, just slowly but surely. It's um, pretty exciting. So it's all, all go. And then as far as sort of the future goes, um, obviously we're planning to do lots, lots and lots more parties. But then also just trying to build a really well-known, trusted brand in the world of children. So not just parties, but we started doing children's clothing, sort of quite quirky ones, a little shark bite taken out of everything and thumb holes in the sleeves. Um, <laughs> we've just written a book, uh, the lovely Philippa over there editing it at the moment, so that'll be out this time next year. Um, and that's sort of just all of the games, and, well not necessarily the games in the, in the parties, but games to get, get everybody doing when they're at home or on the beach. Filming parties where they make a little film for two and a half hours, and then chocolate making where they make truffles, um, there's many discos, cooking mm. parties. Um, and then you know, the world. survival ones are really popular. Survival. Yeah. So yeah, the world. You know, and anything, you know, we get some crazy ideas of uh, all, all sorts of um, ones coming up with some crazy ideas, which we then have to to go for and um, and realise for them for Berlin's. Um, last week, a mother asked me whether she, we could adopt sixteen penguins to give us party bags. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a question. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so yeah. So there's um, the future is um, yeah. the future is um, you know expand not necessarily expanding the parties, but expanding the brand into other areas and doing more for our kind of core core clientele. Now we've got um, one more bit of audience participation. Um, uh, the title is obviously inspiring young minds, um, and we're hoping that there might be a young mind in the audience uh, to uh, take on the challenge of trying to um, hit me with a stomp rocket. Children's party is all about health and safety. So basically, you just you put the rocket on there.